I, the one who shall awaken Juggernaut Drive, not just from Ise, but from Valley 2. This shit is getting crazy. And the crazy shit is like, Red Emperor Dragon is not even the true Emperor Dragon. There's, a tr there's an actual, like actual Red Dragon from the Void dimensional gap that just got introduced. I don't really know what's going on. What does Ophis really mean when she says, I'm trying to attain silence? I don't really know. Bal is just basically trying to defeat the Red Dragon. And that's the whole point of Chaos Brigade, at least for him. Moving forward, I hear that people are saying the rest of these episodes like doesn't really matter because by season four for some reason these last episodes they just don't matter i mean i think that's the biggest complaint about season three so far the pacing has been incredibly fast i'm still holding on but let's just see what's gonna happen in the future episodes mm. his arm got all fucked up like he kind of just let it happen wait what about what about the talk between you and drag go talk his arm looks totally different than before what exactly happened here though it looks like a bunch of other people were talking on behalf of Issei no because of you something really hype happened no thank god for chaos brigade oh it was an incomplete transformation that's what Vali said I'm sure it'll work out I mean, knowing this show, somehow Ash is gonna like fucking lactate her breast milk onto Issei's like dragon hand and it'll like cure it. I don't know. Okay, let Ash have her moment. Oh, she called her Ryas Onesama because Ryas kept calling her, you're like my little sister. Surely there's gonna be some stupid fan service to heal this, right? Like, what, just grabbing the titty? That arm, especially at the skin part where it looks all grafted, something about that just like makes me shudder. It's like, ugh. I mean, what else are we gonna do? There's no other option. See, I trust my sister, Asha. They keep getting this development. See? <laughs> Why? Why do you have to do that? It's TXT. It, I mean... It's an etchy show, but it's just like... When there's emotional moments like this when it's dramatic, and you pop a titty, I'm just like, fully the immersion breaks. Is it working? Ooh, there it is. It's all good. Akino didn't need to do the gawk gawk either. Although I would like to see that. That's from the healing? Like we destroyed, like the energy? That was from the healing? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> with just Asha, because usually Rias is on the side too. Okay, I think everything is resolved pretty well. No more drama, right? Oh, sneaking in a kiss! It's... I should have a counter for how many kisses we've made with different characters, but I've forgotten recently. Yes, you and the six other girls, including Gasper. Oh, Akino saw that. Everybody saw... Everybody saw that. <laughs> that sound from... <laughs> I shouldn't be making these sounds either. People are gonna clip this shit out of context. Jealousy? Hmm. Rias. That look there. No, that was definitely something. Alright, I guess that just concludes that arc. And now what? So, when Ophi says I want silence... And Ophis wants Great Red to be kicked out of Dimensional Gap. Basically, he wa she wants like she wants pure silence in the Dimensional Gap, so that the Great Reds just get the fuck out. That's pretty much it. Oh, there he is again with the haircut. Uroboros is Ophis, right? What's going on here? What? What's Loki doing? Loki's coming for you, Sane? And Rias. Well, it's because we hit him with Mjolnir. He's salty. Honestly, we can just bribe the school with everything. They just believe whatever we say. Oh, what about the sports festival? Rosweiss. Odin ditched oh, Rosweiss again? I think this is just gonna be a reoccurring gag. She's gonna get ditched every time. Just stay with us, girl. Thank you, Odin. Thank you. After our great father, Odin, right? Would that actually happen? Are people that strict there? 
You are not laid off, girl, but you can get laid if you hang around here. Actually, that's a lie. Everyone here is still a fucking virgin. No, Rostais is a virgin, but everyone here is a virgin. Like, that's kind of insane if you think about it, how much fan service there has been. Oh, oh, oh. We're gonna get some titties. Hmm. Ria's getting more jealous. Yeah? What? For a second, what? You think you're losing it? Because she is still just Bucho to, you know, uh, Issei. But Ash is different. They're just closer. Oh. <laughs> what is this pose? You're not even fucking trying, bro. Don't shit in the... Here oh. Man, well, at least... All right, it's an easy sensor. It's an easy sensor. That's right. The three-legged running. This is what we've been building up towards. Oh, so so. Creeping on high school girls, you uh, fucking... <laughs> no, nah, Azazel doesn't do that, right? Uh, Hopefully. Uh, yeah, the conversation with Dry, what, what happened? Juggernaut Dry. But it was like an incomplete transformation. It's forbidden. Huh. So, any sacred gear user can use Juggernaut Drive? It can surpass even the gods. They can lose or shorten the lifespan, but our lifespan is so big, I thought it didn't matter the penalties that Issei gets. Why it was invoked? Just huge emotional trigger, right? Because he wanted to save Asha so much. Something. Because last episode, there was something dark, right? There was some kind of dark clouds, energy kind of thing around you saying it was basically Yuma. Kind of, it, it, Yuma was kind of responsible for it in a way. I don't really know. There was something else in Issei though. That was specifically mentioned. Uh, it's almost time for Koneko Chan to come. To <laughs> Out of context subtitles! Uh, what's wrong? Why is everyone looking so sad? What's going on? Hmm. It's a little tense here. Mm. Liar. Proper communication is important. But Rias is just gonna bottle this shit up. Come on, just talk! And what happens after girls do this? Are you okay? I'm fine, I'm fine. And later, they, they just lash out at you. It's like, what the fuck? I try to talk to you! Hmm. Is this the real Issei right now? Would Issei act like this usually? Something about this feels weird. I, am I reading this too deep? Oh, 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 oh. Is this Loki? Wait! So, this is definitely not easy. No, no, no. Something feels very odd. Loki's here to fuck around? What? What's going on? See? Easy's busy doing this shit. Here we go. We're gonna go back to the club room, then we'll see Rias and fake Issei. Wasn't Gasper watching the entire time, though? Breading race. That sounds like a way more fun uh, race, but. Gasper! Gasper was like outside the door. I'm just gonna assume the fake one is Loki. What's going on here? What the. Rias, you there? What's, what's up with your face? Rias, what's going on? Her face doesn't look too concerned. Are you there? Huh? So I'm gonna assume Loki, who is disguised as Issei right now, is mind controlled Rhea? She should be asking, why are there two of you right now? There's two Issei's. Nah, she's not even there. Man, we're getting cucked by ourselves. This is fucked up. No one's asking who this other Issei is either. The, the 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 message from Valhalla, right? Because it has to be Loki. Still waiting for Thor to show up, but I don't think Thor exists here. I don't know. Loki just showed up and like seduced Rias, and they're gone now. Oh, clutch, Gasper! She gone. She gone with fake Issei. Azazel, you know what's going on, right? 
Of course it was. But like, why? Because he just wants revenge? What's, what's, he, what's, what's he doing? He wants to bring us out to somewhere? It has to be. Loki is commonly known for shape-shifting, right? Odin said it, right? A curse? Was the... Because he did say something about some kind of curse before. You'll regret this when we hit him with Mjolnir. So... There is a curse placed on Issei. And Rias? You attack the weak? <laughs> Bro, we're not... I mean... That's probably kind of true, right? Sounds like she's just disrespecting us, though. Twilight of the Gods? What is that? One of the Satan sent his own sisters to battle. Sirzak. Yeah, why are you mad about that? But you started it! Well, how, what, why are you upset about that shit? He sealed himself away, like Loki did. Okay. Drag Issei out and humiliate him? I don't know. Here we go. Twi okay, Ragnarok is also known as Twilight of the Gods. Basically, just destroy the world. Why? I don't know. Edgy evil dude. Do you think that curse somehow has to do with Issei in the last episode too? And what Dragon um, Azazel was talking about? What's deep within our heart? Our degenerate horniness? What? Yuma. That, exactly. The curse. Yes. But it's been extracted, right? I think Ophis or somebody extracted the last episode. It was gone. Wait, what? Wait, what? I think I missed important dialogue there from Issei about how he views girls. He's like scared of what they truly think? Doubt in our heart. Doubt that I guess Asha is getting closer to you and she feels more distant. I guess it's a subconscious guilt? I mean, it's been pretty much foreshadowed since like season 2. Maybe even earlier. How could there be something dark? Hmm. Dark Rias. You know what? I might like this. If the next time we see Rias and she has this new edgy look, I'll be down. Yeah, do something, Sir Zex. Why can't he just solve this shit? Huh? Because Loki's like... Loki froze himself, that's the seal, but Loki is technically Issei right now. Uh, uh, how does that work? I don't know. Dimensional gap again. What the fuck is this dimensional gap? I understand it's a space, but like, why does this exist? It just got introduced out of nowhere. Really? Is that dangerous of a space? I mean, the Great Red does reside in it. Oh. Why Koneko? Kuroka? Kuroka can help us maybe? Oh. You think she'd help us? Body. Let's go! Vali needs a meet? This is a pretty heavy setup episode, but we're setting up for the future stuff, which I don't really know is gonna happen. The most important thing is the curse that Loki put on us. So when we strike the Mjolnir, uh, when we hit uh, Loki with Mjolnir, Loki specifically says something of like, I curse you or something, you're gonna regret this. I remember something like that, but it's like, does this really matter? And I guess it actually did. Now, did that darkness in Issei's heart, wasn't that present in the earlier of season one, like season three? Because technically he had those dreams about Yuma before, but then again, no, no, it's not those dreams. Those dreams, those insecurities are what the curse kind of preys upon. So it actually does make sense. So where are we going with here now? I actually don't know. Should I care about this? I don't know. Because you guys straight up told me like none of this shit really matters. But some of you are saying pay very close attention. So I guess we'll pay attention to the end of this. But hey, if you're still here, if you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.